Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the following topics about Java server faces, and that is to how to launch or launch the NetBeans IDE, creating a new project, saving the project, compile or run the project, and closing and opening a project. So the first topic that I'm going to uh, discuss is how to launch the NetBeans IDE. So it is assumed that you have already a NetBeans IDE installed in your computer or in your laptop. If you don't have one, you have to install it first. And I have a video of that, how to install the JDK or the Java Development Kit and the NetBeans IDE. Just have to find there in our YouTube channel so it's it's there so once you have this uh, that means IDE installed all you need to do is to launch it so how do we launch it very simple you just have to uh, click your start button and it will be here okay so if it is not here so you can just find it from the list of your applications and uh, as you can see, these are arranged in alphabetical order, so it will be easy for you to simply find it. So NetBeans, so that means letter N. So here, here you go. Here it is. So you just have to click it and it will launch. So this will be the NetBeans IDE. This is the first screen that you will see after you launch it. So this is as simple as opening the NetBeans IDE. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new project because that is our next topic, creating a new project. So whenever you would like to create now a Java server phase, phases project, so you have to somewhere, you have to start somewhere. So it will be somewhere here, file, new project and there are actually some steps whenever you create a new project so you have to make sure that you select java web from the list and you have to make sure that from the projects list you have here web application you just have to select that and go to the next button and then the next step will be name and location this means that you have to name your project Right, so project name, so that will be, let's say, let's call it uh, example number one. There you go. Okay, so this is the name of our project. And then on the next line, it will be the project location. So you have to mention here, where are you going to save the project? So let's go ahead and save this project in the location where we want. So for example, I'm going to save this one. Let's let's click this browse button here and let's save our project in let's say it's all up to you where you want to save it. Just simply save it in your in your laptop or in your computer hard drive. So for instance, I will be saving it here in this folder here. So you have the choice to solve it. I mean, uh, to save it, sorry. Okay, so I have here a folder. Here we go. So it is here in this folder folder where I will, uh, I want to save it. So it's going to be here. And as you notice in the project folder, all right, so it will be saved in this folder. And the name of the project is example one. So you cannot touch this, you cannot uh, change this because as you can see, you cannot edit it. So those these are the only two that you can change. Okay, so 
The next is we have to click the next button here. Now, the number three step is server and settings. So this is what I'm saying in my previous video that we have to use a server. So in this case, we will be using the Glassfish server 4.1.1, right? So if it is not installed, you just have to click here in this add button here and you can just add from it. And then we will just take this default here. So let's go ahead and click the next button. And then the last step will be the frameworks. So since we are using the frameworks for Java server faces, so obviously we have to check this Java server faces. And we will just take the defaults here. So let's go ahead and click the finish button here. So as you can see, it is now uh, starting to create our new project and it's going to be like this here all right so so this is the screen that you will see when you complete or when you completed the four steps in creating the new project so as simple as that that is how you create a new project so when you see this one here in your computer something like this then you're good to go. You can continue doing your project now. So you can add more uh, codes here in your project and you can run it later on and test it later on. Okay, so this start page here is just there, but you can close it if you want to. So let's just close it. There you go. So this is where you will work in this file index that xhtml of course you can add more uh, pages but we will discuss that later on and if you expand this this project uh, file here and so uh, you will see let's try and uh, expand the, uh, the, the, the folders here so so this index that x HTML is now here in this folder of web pages. So this is how it's going to be. So this is how you create a new project. So, so like I said, you can add more codes here in this file here. Okay. So now, assuming you have added uh, your codes, you have added some content in your pages or in your page now the next thing will be how to save the project so saving the project is as simple as going to the file and you just have to save it right but in this case because we didn't do anything yet so let's say for example i'm going to add more let's say uh, Welcome to the new academic year. So we can always save it. There you go. So this is how we save the file. Of course, when you add a new file, it's the same thing. You just have to go to the file and click this save option here or simply click on the control S to save it. That's the shortcut. So it's only very easy to create a new project here. The next is how to compile the project. Of course, once we put all our codes here, all the requirements of the given problem, you need to test it so that we will see if the requirements were followed. So the shortcut here or the simplest way to compile it is going to be here, run project or press the control F6. So let's go ahead and click this one here. So you just have to click this one here. 
once you click it you just have to wait a little bit so as you can see it is now running here there is a status bar here that says running and we just have to wait for it we should see this in a browser so whatever is the default browser of your laptop that will be or that there that will be the browser it will use to show the output of your program code so it's taking a little bit time and uh, well this is windows defender so you just have to allow it right so allow access once this once you see this one you just have to allow it So this is the output now of our Java server faces program code. So it, it, it is the result is displayed in a browser and this browser is the Microsoft Edge browser. So if you would like to see again your code, you just have to come back to your NetBeans and you can add more codes here and compile it if you wish to all you need to do is to just again click this button right over here or click from the menu and click the run project and or f6 now that's the shortcut and it will compile again and show again your result or the result or the output in a browser So if we will add again a, some codes, all you need to do is you can just go back to your browser like this. There is no need for you to click again this one because as long as the browser is there, you did not close it, as long as it is there, all you need to do is to, okay, you can add your codes and you have to save it. Okay, you save it so that the new contents will be added when you run it. So there is no need for, for this one uh, for, for you to run it because still the browser is still open. If it is still open, you did not close it, all you need to do is to refresh it. So everything that you added, as long as there is no program error, so the output or the result will show. So this is how you compile your program in JSF or the Java server faces. Now, once you are done with it, for instance, you are going to go and you're done with your code or your, your project, you can just simply close it by your project by simply going to the file menu and close project. When you close your project, uh, you're good to go and you can just close your NetBeans by clicking the close button here. All right, so as simple as that, that is just how you close your project. Now, if you would like to come back and review again your code, obviously you will, you will open again your project. In this case, all you need to do is to open again your NetBeans IDE and you just have to Click on the file and open the project. Okay, just click here for the open project and go to the folder where you save it and just click from the list of the projects here. So in this case, we have here example one. Okay, so if you cannot find it here, you just have to go to the folder where you save it. So you just have to click in the look in drop down list here and find your project from here. Okay, once you have identified the folder where it is saved, so in that folder, if there are projects, so the projects will be listed here and just select the appropriate project you wish to open. So in this case, we only have one, so example one here, so I'm going to click now the open project here. And it will show to you the project 
So in this case, our project have only one file and that is the index.html or the xhtml. So opening, creating, compiling new projects or projects is as simple as one, two, three. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you on the next video.